If we like stable rain and agriculture, that depends on the ocean. If we like breathing oxygen, that depends on the ocean. If we don't like big, huge storms destroying our coastline, it depends on a stable ocean. The bigger the area and the more highly protected, the more it can be resilient. In the face of climate change, what we need is the planet and starting with the ocean to be much more stable. If you're a marine creature, if you're lower on the food chain, you can't live in an acidic ocean. And then what happens to everything that relies on those organisms that are at the bottom? There's no food. And there's no food all the way up to the top of the chain. That includes us. models have been either protect fully one area or use anything you want. We really haven't used kind of the creativity that human beings are capable of and the technology and the smarts that we have to say, you know what, we have to do both. trying to do is create ocean conservation areas that match not only the character of the place but the need of the people. So we can't ask every place on the planet to protect and, and reduce all uses. We need to find and really try to bring protection together with production. And so it's that balance but recognizing that it's parks, it's marine managed areas, it's reserves. And so there's lots of models and we are open to forging new ones. hard for even the general person to not recognize what's happening to the ocean. With the tools of social media, people are seeing the trash, the plastic, they're seeing the pollution, they're seeing fish be pulled out of the ocean at rates and using techniques that have never happened before. And what we're really trying to do, and I think there's a big demand for better ways to utilize our ocean in ways that people can feel good about ourselves. But now we need people to act.